But if you do heal, if I do guard just in time and stuff, I will get the heal, but you can see. 222,000, and there's the war mine cell as well. So, whoop. Up, and we're gonna do this and he just gets wiped out it is freaking disgusting how good it is hello your scale guys next is here welcome back to destiny 2 and in today's video we're gonna kind of a special weapon review to do not a special in terms of a secondary a special weapon in terms of it's a titan exclusive weapon it's also gonna be a sword which i never really review because all swords are kind of the same unless they're exotics but it's going to be in the crown for their titan exclusive uh legendary sword now this is obviously from d1 they got sunset of course and then they got brought back into the new season. But the crown spitter itself, the reason I want to review this one is because this is all hails of broken right now. Like, this is just insane DPS machine. I know Titans having a DPS machine on oh, Thunder Crush, anybody freaking crown spitters. Titans are just the DPS kings right now. I know people will be like, yeah, but I got a hunter with a golden gun. Yeah, but you don't get a Titan with a freaking sword. You can just wipe out everything in existence. But yeah, the crown spitter itself, the reason it is so strong right now is because right now, for some reason, whatever way Bungie have it coded, is that the heavy attack on the crown splitter actually works with the mod energy accelerant now if you don't know what this mod is it's broken i already did a video with of course my uh, rooney 70 that's what we're going to be pairing with as well it deals more damage on freaking weapons that it shouldn't so the crown splitter apparently works with it right now and so does rooney's effigy slam there's a lot of void different slams are working with it right now with it of course if it works with energy accelerant it technically means it's going to work with the warmind's decree so you can actually spawn warmind cells with the two of them too i mean this mod it's only here for this season so you might be like oh i can wait or oh i don't want to get it but the crown spit itself even without the mod it still does some decent damage crown spitter isn't a bad sword at all this is the role i got now how you get this is through the gunsmith it's a random drop from any source like legendary so true gunsmith prime engrams umbral engrams it's just random if you get one this is the role i've got so i've got either hungry edge i've got honed edge or i got tempered edge anyway heavy guard is the only guard that's on this weapon you got flash counter so melee blocked immediately after guarding disorientates and weakens the attacker and last but not least i got vorpa weapon so increased damage against bosses vehicles and guardians with their super active but yeah we're gonna have to go in and test it out we're gonna go showcase the dps that this thing has so without further ado let's go in with our crown splitter into some pve Alrighty, so we're gonna go into the override with our clan spitter we're doing this because we're gonna have heavy a plenty full of course with the uh the way heavy spawns in this game mode we'll just basically keep on getting heavy but this is it and this is where you're gonna find it sweet now obviously i'm gonna get charged with life for the loosened blade you could switch it out for um loosened blade isn't uh, like essential like you'll still do really good dps so but you can see it's kind of slow, but the damage is definitely worth it, boys. If this thing could just stop freaking dodging me, that would be great. <laughs> but yeah, you want charge with light uh, to get the loosened blade, but you could use weapons of light as well to make up for the damage missing as well. So you don't have to have loosened blade all the time. Of course, I am, I am just waiting until we get the uh, until we get the barriers and stuff like that. And this is where we're gonna see one of the barriers. Is a barrier? No, it's an overload. Okay, this is where we're gonna see it now. I don't have charge with light going right now, but you'll still see the DPS on this is gonna be somewhat nuts. Now, if I guard super fast before I get hit as well, so punch me again, bro. Up. Oh. Hit me! Hit me! Do it! <laughs> but if you do heal, if I do guard just in time and stuff, I will get the heal, but you can see. 222,000, and there's the Warmind cell as well, as I said. It will spawn Warmind cells too, which is just freaking dope, honestly, with the energy accelerant. These, uh, these weapons are honestly just stupidly good. This and the Rooney Savage are just absolutely annihilating everything. They're just DPS machines. Obviously, it's probably not intended by Bungie's part, or it's probably not going to work out like next season and stuff because the model disappear. But you can just see how stupid it is. Like this guy's going to spot in and he's just going to get wrecked. So, whoop, whoop, and we're going to do this, and he just gets wiped out. It is freaking disgusting how good it is. And that's even without the freaking loosened blade proccing right now. I haven't got a proc to can't get charged. But even without the loosened blade, it still freaking works. A dream. As I said, I could draw on the weapons light. I will save it for it, but it's just nuts to DPS. Honestly, this is all hells are broken. This and Rooney's effigy going in together. Legit, all hells are broken. Kill one thing, get a transmutation. Right click. Get the debuff with the uh, I flash counter too. So if I do guard when they hit me, it will debuff too. So the flash counter gives them a 20% debuff. And then I can just freaking shred them with a right click with loose and plate or something. It's just... The hell's broken, boys. All hell is a freaking broken. But yeah, now we have the charge to light with it. Now we should be able to absolutely wipe this thing out. You'll see the damage increase a bit. I can't flash counter too. So if this thing tries to like push me away... No, don't kill him, bro. No, you're taking my kill. Stupid override, guys. Oh my god. I just robbed everything, but look at this guy. You know, you can see 
With the breach and clear as well, it will stack those sorts of things. And you can see I got keened. Keened is basically loose and blade. It tells you when it's proc. So if you got keened, it means that all your damage from your sword is going to be doing extra damage. So you can like left click a couple of times, then go for the heavy attack and a right click. It's honestly so freaking good, this DPS. It's on, it's the king of DPS right now. Obviously, it's not going to really work too much against them. Um, things that kind of push you back. But that is why you're using the stronghold. And this is Titan exclusive. So everyone who's using this crown spitter. It's going to be a Titan anyway. And that's the point of the Stronghold is that when you do guard, it gives you max guard so you don't get thrown away. And it fully heals you. So even if you do get thrown away a little bit, just a little left click will get you back into position. But you can see it's just, it's freaking nuts to DPS. There's going to be a bunch of things over here. So he's going to actually do that to it. And you might as well actually just hit this. So you can see, you can basically just one shot everything. It's actually insane. That guy trying to fist the advocate. Couldn't kill it. My right click sword one taps it. That's the difference. And that's why this thing is just, it's just all hell is disgustingly broken right now. It's just so much fun as well. I mean, obviously it's only for Titans. So a lot of Titans are going to be like, oh my God, look at that 245. <laughs> He's using the, uh, the Warlocks one, but that doesn't actually work with it. But you can just see that it's just nuts how good it, uh, how good it is. Like even this overload is coming in, we can just do this to him. We can actually just right click. You can't just go for a right click. Obviously you're not getting your max DPS with uh, Charge of Light and stuff, but you can't just go for a fat right click and just absolutely annihilate him. So we'll do that to him. And you can see just how much damage you do. That's what I'm saying. It won't absolutely one shot unless you have like loose and blade or something going like that. But you can see that the damage is so freaking good. And if I do have the debuff from my flash counter, that will make it one shot too. All right. So we're going to be at the end with obviously the first boss. And this is going to be him. Okay. We need to go over. I have charge the light. So I do have the key. I do have the key light going. So if I actually do guard against this guy, we'll go like this. Pop. And, boom, and you can see the damage is just going to be sweet. Now, I just need to get the guard going because front B, rope front B. Front B. Oh, my God, he did it. <laughs> I was trying to get the guard going because if you get the guard going with it, obviously, I will debuff him. But if people are going to use Breach and Clear as well, they will be debuffed. And you can see with the Vorpal and everything going in, it's just insane. This is all just a sword doing this. No supers needed, no freaking anything. Just straight up deeps. So I get this guy as well. And we'll right click and he's one tapped. <laughs> Oh, that's so dumb. As I said, you can't stick on the weapons of like two, so you can go like this as well. Instead of having the loose and blade, and this will do somewhat similar damage. So if I go like this, you'll see the damage, and you can see it's just such freaking good damage. It's honestly insane. And with the breach and clear that people are going to be using in most PvE events, you can see just straight up deeps. Again, we have the weapons of light still, so we can do this, and there's the breach and clear, and you can see 360 damage, you can see 80 damage. But you can, it's just insane how much DPS you can get going with this. I did lose my uh, charge with light. That's why I lost a lot of DPS. But it's just nuts. It's honestly just freaking disgusting how much this is doing right now. Definitely, if you get a roll of this. It's for Titans only, so I would admit, rip everyone else. But if you are a Titan and you do get a good roll of this sword, use it with the Energy Accelerant. It's better than Lament. This will do more DPS than Lament. It's easier to use too. Lament has a bit of timing to it in terms of charging. Well, that is it for me and the Crown Splitter Sword. You can see just how much DPS this thing is doing. And I wasn't even having the god roll or wasn't getting like the main dps in in terms of buffs and everything like that we were getting some good buffs with uh, obviously weapons of light and loose and blade but this thing is just it's insane right now dps wise it's better than lament honestly the damage you can do with lament is not nothing compared to this even with loose blade on the lament as well this grand splitter it's just it's just insane the energy accelerant it basically just doubles damage that's the way you gotta look at it this sword it could probably output just as much uh, damage as lament without the energy accelerant but then when you throw it on it basically just doubles the damage and that's why the energy accelerant is just it's so busted right now and the fact that you can spawn war mine cells with the crown spitter obviously you're not going to be the main goal but it is a nice touch to it as well you can see that it's just straight up a dps machine with a boss spec vorpo as well as said you probably want whirlwind, bla uh, whirlwind blades or something like that just to give you the extra god roll for extra dps well honestly overall crown spitter it's insane right now it's only on titan so it is a rip to every other thing but right now this thing is just doing hell of damage it reminds me of obviously ray spitter ray slider not ray spitter the ray slider back in d1 how that right click used to just murk everybody especially when you had so burns it's not even just for pure dps you can just murk anything that comes in your way one right click and it basically kills everything but regardless if you like the video just like i want to see more content subscribe to today and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one